Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. I wanted to make a real quick video for you, and I wanted to talk about uh, PC culture, or politically correct culture, or politically correct language. Um, I've come to believe that there is like, uh, I think that I think that PC culture or, or political correctness is at war with um, with uh, with what is good and 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 what is what is rational and what is true and and i think that that pc culture and people who push political correctness are like weak sniveling people who actually hate strength and people who exude strength and success and i sort of just wanted to talk about that for a minute so you know, I, I live in Chicago, and Chicago can be pretty liberal, especially in certain neighborhoods. Um, I've noticed even even in the use of language, um, you know, political correctness can kind of creep in to the point where if you don't use the correct language around the correct people, they will, you know, I've actually had people glare at me because I've used the wrong language. And I want to give you a couple of examples. Um, so, uh, like for example, uh, you, the, the, the word, the word manager, I've heard people say manageress because they know that the manager is a female and, you know, I sort of, I remember, I remember watching someone listening, overhearing someone and hearing them say that and then putting it together. Oh, it's a female manager. Wouldn't you just say the manager? But no, it's like, you know, they want to make this distinction between man and woman. I, you know, it, it's bizarre, but it's true. I've heard that word before, manageress. Or, you know, uh, instead of, uh, I don't know, there's so many examples. I'll just give a couple uh, off the top of my head, like fat. If, if someone is fat, you don't want to call them fat anymore. Now you call them obese. Or if someone is like, Oh man, a perfect one. This is already an old one. I knew this years ago, not to say this. You basically can't say this anymore. I think it's considered like hate speech or something, you know? It's something that'll make you uh uh, you know, they'll put you in like a sensitivity training class or something. If you call uh someone you know, if you see someone let's say with down syndrome or something, you cannot use the word retarded to as an adjective to describe them. Instead, it's uh they're they're mentally handicapped, right? Um, or if they're, uh, whatever, if they're, you know, physically, uh, handicapped, they don't even want you saying physically, they don't even want you saying physically handicapped. They want you say, they want you to say something like, uh, physically disabled or something like that. You know, there's this, this playing with language, you know, and uh, I've just noticed that and I, I really don't like it. I think it's, I think what it is, uh, I think it. I think it's like these people, these like self-anointed, you know, SJW types who want to force or pressure other people to use these these sorts of words uh, that they deem appropriate. And that if you use other words, they they deem these words inappropriate. And, you know, whatever, it gets into like, they consider it like a microaggression and, you know, it's all about this cultural Marxism and you're oppressing them. It's a, you're, it's a microaggression and you're, it's a form of you oppressing them. And I think this has to do with like, uh, you have like these losers and they just, they're like jealous and envious of anyone who, do, who, who's, who does better than them. You know, like I, I think in the past, you know, Americans would would look up to people who are successful. You would see someone successful and you'd say, wow, I want to be like that person. But now it's like you see someone who's successful and you say, oh, that person, you know, they they didn't work hard. They they didn't they didn't earn their money. They stole that money. You know, that's how they got money. And they must have they must have stole that wealth. It's like, no, no, they didn't steal the wealth. They created it. You know, but these you got these like rabid SJWs. I, I think in their in their mind they conjure up that yeah you, know, you got some guy and he's in a suit and he just sits at a desk all day and just picks up the phone and order, orders people around and his his money is just falling out of the sky and da, 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 da. you know it's like you know I don't know I don't know I just have this idea that like PC culture is um, 
it's like it's it's at war with common sense. It's at war with with strength, with people who exude strength. And it just it wants to make every it it wants you to be ashamed. They want you to be ashamed. They don't want you to be proud of yourself. I noticed that. I think that. I think, you know, people who are very, who are hyper politically correct, people who are very politically correct, they don't like seeing people who are proud. People who have dignity. They don't like that. And I think that that, that I think that that is their way of of them wanting to control you. They want to make everyone around them feel like ashamed. So that, you know, whatever, so that they have the an excuse to, to come in and, and tell you how to live your life. So I'm sorry, this is a little bit of a ramble, but yeah, I was just having that thought, like, you know, political correctness, you know, the PC police, these these SJWs that, that roam my city, that roam Chicago like zombies. You got to be careful just what you say. You know, you can go to a bakery and just all of a sudden someone gives you the meanest glare because you use a word that they deem offensive. And it's like, that wasn't even offensive five years ago, but now it is. And it's like, okay. All right. So I'll leave it there. Um, guys, uh, if you like my content, please like, please share, uh, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. All right. Bye now.